Kendra here and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, as you can tell by the title of it, it's going to be a craft room tour. Poke it, poke it. I probably shouldn't shake too much, should I? But yeah, we're going to be doing a craft room tour because as you guys know, um, I just got done filming and editing uh, and I am about to schedule the upload for my craft room clean with me, I think is what I called it. But yeah, so I got that um, video edited. I have it uploaded. I'm about to schedule it because I want to batch film, which is what I'm doing, which is why I'm in the same clothes that I was in the past two videos, in the intro video and the clean with me video, um, because I am batch filming because, I mean, I'm in the YouTube mood, okay? I'm in the YouTube mood. I'm in the grind. Um, plus, my craft room is clean, which very rarely that happens where it's actually clean enough for me to do this. Um, but yeah, so my craft room is clean and get away from that. Oh, hold up. We'll just stay right here. But, uh, my craft room is clean. My kids are asleep because it's like 1130 at night, which I'm sorry about the lighting. It's not going to look the prettiest because I'm filming it now at 11 o'clock at night. But yeah, so I want to go ahead and get this film and get this edited and get this uploaded and scheduled so that way I know it's on there. So without further ado, let's get into the craft room tour okay guys so starting out we have my door this is the door that goes into my craft room this is my jeffree star hoodie that i literally waited you guys didn't see the video but these came out earlier this year i think it was earlier this year um but when they came out they came out with these and he came out with some shorts um this is the teddy the brown teddy hoodie from jeffree star um but when they first came out I wanted one, but I didn't have the money to get one, plus they sold out really quick. Um, so later on throughout the year, like every month, I've, every couple weeks or every couple days, I'll check. I would check and they would have them in stock, but none of them my size. So finally, I got online and looked and they had it in my size, so I bought one. I also got the brown lounge shorts to go with it and they were amazing and now I have to wash them so I can wear them again. But anyway, so this is my door, okay? And we will start this way. Let me turn this light off so the way it's not blinding you guys. Okay. So then I have my Scentsy wall because I tried to become a Scentsy consultant, which I sort of am. So if you guys are looking for Scentsy, I will put a link in the description bar down below in case you guys want to go buy some. Um, but these are all of my Scentsy bars that I have bought. These are amazing, by the way. But yeah, so these are all my Scentsy bars. Um, these are for the fan diffusers. So these are the scent circles, which these are like three dollars a piece, and they're amazing, and I love them. That is a scent, a car bar, a scented car bar. But yeah, so this is all my scentsy stuff. Um, and then we have this from where I, um, re, re, I, what's it called? Reached, reached. I, I don't know, but I uh, got my shooting star award because I sold over five hundred dollars a thousand dollars or something like that worth of Scentsy within my first 30 days of, or first 15 days of becoming a Scentsy consultant. And then we have these cute little beads that I literally just have sitting here because they're cute and I put them in a little glass jar. We have Mr. Frog which has been in here since I made this room my craft room and he will always be here. And then we have this which just has a bunch of like decorative scissors. I don't actually use these those that often but they're just there because they're cute. And then we have one of my Scentsy warmers. Um, this is some Scentsy Fresh, some Scentsy Bathroom Cleaner, and Go Go Mango. What is it? I think there's just random stuff in here. I don't even know. Yeah, just, just random, random things. Um, but I got this box at Michael's for like $3 because it was on sale. And then these are my Scentsy um, oils for my Scentsy Oil Diffuser. And then we have, these are all of my scissors that I use on a daily basis. These are my fabric scissors. These are the scissors I use to cut whatever I need to. These are like the main ones I go after. Um, and then these are my paper scissors. And then these are just like two random ones I have. And then my little hammer. I've had this for forever, as you can tell, because it's all scratched up. Um, and then I just have some ink over there. That one over there is for my sublimation ink. And then this one is just my regular ink. And I have some tape there. And then, <laughs> it's a little weird, but these are my extensions because I bought them like forever ago and I paid like $60 for them, which was weird, but I just leave them hanging there. 
And then we have my little file holder thing. I've had this for forever too, and it just sits here. Then I have one of my tripods. This is the tripod I was using when I was filming my clean with me. Then we have my filing cabinet, which this used to hold um, all of my random papers and stuff. But then I, since then I've took them out and put them somewhere else, which you guys will see. And then that just has random other paperwork in it. Now for the shelf. So over there we have makeup. These are all of my products, like my lotion, body wash. This is my face cleanser and my hairbrush. That's all the stuff that I use to do my nails, which I need to do. That is more makeup. That is my tool bag. It has my drill, my drill charger, and all of my little thingies that I need for tools or whatever. Um, that is just a bunch of random stuff. These are obviously Bibles. Um, the first Bible my mom gave to me, this one right here, this pink one right here in the middle, is actually a mom Bible I got from, what's that place called, Ollie's. And then this one right here is a study Bible. That's another Bible I got from my mom. These are some books and some daily devotional stuff my mom gave me. Um, in, is it this one? Yes, and this one, it has my stickers, just like random stickers and stuff um, that I made. These I made out of a picture that my uh, cousin or aunt, whatever you want to call her, but she drew this and I made these cute little vinyl stickers out of them and they're adorable. And then this one just has other random things in it. Um, this is for my vape whenever I decide to vape. This is a postcard that I got from Jeffree Star's box, which is the first one I forgot. So yeah, it's gorgeous. And then this is Christy's watch because she, I have an Apple watch and she said she wanted a watch like mommy. So I just went and bought her this one. I got it on sale at Walmart for like five bucks. And then this is just all of my makeup. That's, whoop. this is my makeup that I use on a daily basis whenever I want to wear makeup and I don't want to do like a fancy smancy look. I just pull this out. This is my, this is what I'm currently warming in my warmers in case you guys want to know. This is the Scentsy, Scentsy Christmas Cactus, which it smells like a freaking Christmas tree, but not all the way like a Christmas tree. And then this is some elastic. This is a charger that I don't know what it goes to, so it's just sitting in here. This is a bag that I made. I mean, it just has a bunch of random cords. Sorry about that. We had a, uh, crying baby so anyway onto this one so these just have random just random things in it um that's just a little thing this down here has oh that's all my scentsy stuff um and those are actually miscut cash envelopes that i made um those are mine and my kids' vitamins my wipes that's more scentsy stuff in a weird container that has random stuff in it candy box for my kids what's this oh yeah i made i put this together because i was doing let's see if you can find it is it in here no of course it's not in there but um i was trying to homeschool my kids i'm trying to homeschool my kids which i will show you guys that eventually probably um and they have a whole bunch of little pieces that would fit in there so that's why i have that so yeah so that's this wall We'll move on over here. Um, this just has, I make shaker clips and this is just some of the pieces. Um, I got this out of a pop box and then I made this one and it just hangs here because it's really cute. And then we have my desk. Um, that's another Scentsy warmer. This is my Google Home thingy. Um, this is my moisturizer that I use. It's the Olay Ultra Moisture, Moisture Ultra Hydrate, whatever. And then I've been trying to take better care of my face or my hair and stuff. So this is a leave-in cream conditioner by Fox, Fox Bay. I don't know. And then I'm trying this. What is this called? Midnight Recovery Eye. So I just put some of that. And then this is the face moisturizer that I'm trying out. It's the Murad. Hydro Dynamic Ulster Moisture. We have an Xbox controller because this is a gaming computer, but we have an Xbox controller that we use up here and it usually sits there, but it's downstairs right now. 
Then we have my computer screen, webcam, blah, 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 coffee, planners, computer, random stuff that just fit in the box with a little trash can over here. We'll start down here. So this is all of my extra happy planner paper, like insert paper and stuff, filler paper that I have because I love happy planner. Um, these are just extra notebooks and little other random things like I made this. And then I also made this one because I, I was going to make a uh, Animal Crossing planner because I was playing Animal Crossing a lot. So I wanted to make a planner to, uh, you know, plan out what I wanted to do in Animal Crossing because I was really big into it for a little bit and then I stopped. But that's just a whole bunch of random notebooks and stuff. Um, these are all of my Happy Planner stickers and some random ones I got from Michaels. And this is not long there. But these are all of my happy planner notebooks and different happy planner stuff. This is more planner stickers and a little sticker thingy. Um, this was the packaging to some bows that I made that I currently use. These are all of my planners. So this one is my budget planner from Happy Planner. No. Yes? Yes. Budget planner. Um, this is what I use to budget out everything and keep track of everything for my Etsy shop. This one is my home planner where I plan out meals and cleaning days and what all needs to be cleaned on what day and so forth. This is just a notebook, um, or it used to be a notebook. I recently put some uh, teacher, it's from a teacher planner, but it's like checklists and stuff. And I was going to use it for my kids, but I ended up doing something else. This is a daily planner um, that I bought at Michael's. I think it's the Recollections, not Recollect. is it Recollections? I don't know. I think it's the Recollections brand. Um, this is my classic happy planner, which I turned into a Franken planner. Um, and it has stuff like my Etsy. It's where I plan out for Etsy, YouTube, social media, and other things. And I just made some tabs to go in there. This is my, my mom um, started something. I, I want to call it a nonprofit, but I'm not sure if that's what it's actually called. But we go out every Sunday and... Um, we make meals well we used to do hot meals until after we found out that that evidently that was wrong and we wasn't allowed to do that so now we just package up pre-packaged food and put it together and we go and hand it out to people in need where we live at so that's what i use to uh plan out stuff for that it's called heavenly haven of hope if you guys want to well you'll probably hear more about it um this is empty but i'm going to turn can change this into a different planner I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's cute and I wanted it. I made this. This is actually available on my Etsy shop. Well, not this one specific, but one like it. Um, in case you guys want to go check one, check them out. It's a little Christmas planner. It comes with a bow, this little dangle, a bow charm, not a bow. This is a tassel. And then cute little paper clips. And it also has like four books in it. Um, we also have... This planner, which this planner is actually for my children. It's where I keep track of their bath nights because I can't give my children a bath every single night um, because they're like me and they get dry skin really bad. And so they only get a bath every other day unless they really, really need one. Um, but this is what I keep track of their bath nights in, their doctor's appointments and so on and such forth. This used to be my face planner. But I also converted it into another um, Franken plan, which that just has, I think, my it's my face planner plus a few other things. Um, this is a oh yeah, this is my teacher planner. It's what I use to plan out um, the what's it called curriculum. Oh, plan study. I don't know, it's what I use to plan out what my kids are going to be doing for our homeschool sessions. Um, this is my Erin Condren. I bought it and was going to use it, but never did. Still have it. This is just a notebook that I got because it's really cute. Um, these are just random notebooks. Another random notebook. This is my Happy Planner. It used to be my Etsy planner, um, and, but I don't use that anymore. This is a traveler's notebook that I made and put together. This is actually my faith planner. So I pull stuff out of this to put into this one. And then we just have another random notebook. Up here, 
we have binders. Um, this one is actually for a new type of Bible study that I'm trying. This is my Bible study one that I've been doing. This is what I was using when I was trying to learn Spanish. Um, last year I was gonna become a tax prepper and so I had to go through tax prep school and that's what this one was for. This is just random stuff. This was all of Christy's paperwork and stuff from where we was starting homeschool. Um, and this is just some other random stuff. This is a book that my kids broke and Jonathan was trying to fix it. So yeah, that's what that is. And then we have this, which this is a shaker, which is what that thing is down there, it's a shaker. So this is the first one I made and it's so freaking cute. This is a traveler's notebook cover. Um, traveler's notebook cover is something? Yeah, this is a traveler's notebook cover that I actually have available on my Etsy shop. This is a traveler's notebook cover that's actually available on my Etsy shop. Anyway, so then we have this, which all of this has all of my pens. This is all of my Sharpies and markers that I have right now. This one has all of my highlighters in it. And this is all of my pens. I have, this is not all of my pens, this, this is most of my pens. And then we have this up here, which has some colored pencils, a instant burner, and then my makeup brushes. This is all of my washi. And then we also have this one, which has those roll uh, rolls of planner stickers that you can get from Happy Planner. This is another random planner that actually somebody gave to me. This just has random notebooks and books and stuff in it. That is my Jeffree Star bag. This has all of my eyelets and stuff in it for when I make traveler's notebooks. Anyway. So let's move this back over here. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the desk because I think I covered everything over there. Okay, so then this is my other desk. This is the computer desk and this is the worky desk. So I have my iPad sitting here for whenever I'm creating something, I can watch stuff on there. I charge my phone here and then my Apple Watch. Um, these I bought off of Amazon because they were freaking cute. Can you see them? And then these are just some of my freebies and stuff that I send out in my business cards. This was a little mini shaker that I made and it's really cute. This is another um, traveler's notebook that I had made. And then we have this, which is um, a sticker album thing that I made and it holds all of like random stickers that I have a bunch of Christmas ones right now. And then this is just a little calendar and some sunglasses. Um, these are functional stickers, more functional stickers, more functional stickers that I use in my planners. These are just full of different papers. In this drawer, we have more pins. These are the really pretty pins. They're pins that I love to use, so they sit here. The ones over here. These are all of my pencils and highlighters and my permanent markers that I like to use. I got these pens at Walmart. They had them at Michael's. What were they like? $15 at or at Michael's. And I got them for like five bucks at Walmart. And they're really cute. And then this is just a bag for my headphones, calculator, random other stuff. And then we have this, which these are all of my cute pins that I just leave sitting up here because I do use these a lot and they just look really cute sitting on my stand. And you guys might recognize this picture if I can get it to stand up straight. Yeah. Nope, I'm not going to stand up straight. Now you guys might recognize that picture from the intro because I love that picture. And then I made this cause it was really cute and it just sits there now. And then we have a hole punch, another hole punch and a corner rounder. Um, little bow that I made. 
planner, clip, bow, hand sanitizer, post-it notes, little pens. This cute little charm that I have says when words fail, music speaks. And then these are more planners. Um, these are my Hobonichi planners. So this is a Hobonichi planner that I'm, uh, cover that I made. This is another Hobonichi planner. This is actually my personal planner. Um, it's where I keep track of stuff for myself. This is my Twitch planner for whenever I decide to start Twitch again, then I can plan out content for Twitch. Um, and then this is just a wallet that I was trying to make a cover out of. And then that was another cover that I made, but I didn't really like it. So it just sits there now. Okay. And then we have, this is not my sticker printer, but it's the printer that I use to print everything else that I use. And I've had this for three, two or three months now. And I've printed a lot and I have barely used any ink. This one is a mess. Cause I just cleaned and stuck a whole bunch of stuff in here. But over here we have my Cricut and Silhouette tools, um, my cutters, my adhesive, so this is like my adhesive strip tape runner, double-sided tape, tweezers for when I'm doing my stickers, ruler, um, my thank you stamps that I use to put on my cards that I send out with orders. Um, this is another cute little charm that I made. I used to have a lot more stuff on it, but it came off. Um, yeah, and then these are the like the little soy clips. Um, that is my, what's it called? Scraps bin, I think is what it's called, scraps or something like that. Over here, we have cardstock and printer paper and picture paper. This is um, sticker paper. This is more sticker paper. This one is sublimation paper and a scale for some reason. And then this one is all of my lamination and acetate. My sandals. And then we get over here to my big mass of printers. So this is my regular printer that I print on from day to day. This is the printer that I use currently for my stickers for my shop. This is my inkjet, or not my inkjet, but my laser printer that I use for all of my foiled stickers and foiled things for my shop. And this is my sublimation printer. And then we have this, which holds my mats and stuff for my silhouette and my Cricut. This little book that I made um, that has all the covers to all of my paper packs that are in there. So I don't have to go through them. My scoreboard and this little thing for stamping. And then we have this little statue with these cute little goggles, a little stitch. Catwoman, and then my robot. Um, and then over here we have a another Scentsy warmer with Harry Potter, which I should imagine Harry Potter pop has fell over again. And then we have my EV shelf. This shelf, which this is my what's it called? Oh, it's a cinch. It's what's it called? It's called a cinch. Um, to make notebooks and stuff random other stuff down here. I'm going to try to make a cover for these. And um, these are the little planners that you can get at Dollar Tree. These are all of my paper clips. Um, this usually holds like all these little clippies that I use for making planner charms and stuff. This is my binding box um, that I use for binding notebooks and other things. Down here we have, these are my templates for my traveler's notebook sizes. Just random notebooks. Um, some traveler notebook things that I was working on. Coloring books. This is where my tripods live. Um, just some leather things. These are just sitting here because they're cute and I like the way they look. And then we have my cutter, or should I say cutters. This one I use for vinyl whenever I have to cut vinyl and this one is one I use for my paper. Then we have a bunch of random folders that are has nothing in them and then this is paper this is all different kinds of paper deco paper plain paper paper that i use to put in my notebooks that i make folders 
uh, construction paper, more cardstock. These, I laminated them because I was going to make um, notebooks out of them, but I decided not to do that right now. So now they're just sitting there. Oh, over here. I forgot the shelf. How did I forget the big shelf? Okay, so then on this shelf, which is where all of my printers live, we have this one, which has all of my punches in it. Uh, this one is all of my embossing stuff. So it has like these little thingies and then that little thing. This is all of my jewelry making stuff. It has all my charms and little doodads that I need to make jewelry and my charms and stuff. Um, this is ribbon, more ribbon. This is all of my sewy stuff, all of my adhesives. All of my stamps, stamping pads, random stuff. This is all of my printer ink that I have for my this this printer for right now. Um, this one has all of my random tools like my hot glue guns, my label makers, um, and random stuff like that. This is all of my Christmas stuff that I use to make my Christmas tea ends. This is more embossing stuff. Um, this is my heat gun, embossing powders. This is for metal stamping. And that's just random stuff that I had nowhere to put, so I just left it in there. This is for all my epoxy work. So we have my cup turner, my epoxy, two little cups that I was gonna do something with but never did. Okay. Then in here, we have all of my shipping stuff for my Etsy shop. I can't really see anything. Hold on. Okay, you still can't really see anything, but it's better. Okay, so then this has my wood burner and just a bunch of other random stuff in it. This has nothing in it at the moment. What is this? Oh, this is all of my uh, screen printing equipment. This one is just other random stuff. This is all of my tool. That is my extra mink machine, which I'll probably do a giveaway on eventually. This is all of my vinyl, um, some of my jelly paper and faux leather and stuff that I use for my traveler's notebooks. That is all paper pads, more paper pads. This is my heat press, um, glitter. These are my patterns, which I'm probably gonna find somewhere else to put those. Sewing equipment. This is all the small pieces of fabric that I have that I can't hang up. What's this one? And then this one way down here um, has tool in it as well. This is a tie-dye thing that I have not used yet. This is all of my sublimation stuff, plus some extra leather that I got from Walmart, vinyl. Um, all the, some of the fabric that I have that I can actually hang up. Extra copy paper. Random stuff. This is all stabilizer. And a bunch of stuff that I need to go through. But this has mainly uh, yarn and crochet needles and stuff in it. Because Jonathan got really big into that recently. So we bought him all of that. Okay, so next we have this little shop. Willy cart that I got from Michaels. This has my mink on it. On this cute little board that I made. Um, all of my foiling stuff, my crocodile, a box cutter, a mask that I was trying to make, um, but I ended up doing it inside out, so it didn't turn out right. And then just a bunch of random things as well. And then over here, let's move this chair over the way. We have our garbage can. This is a Brother SE 400, so it's a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. Um, as you probably heard in my last video, I used to use this as my actual sewing machine and this one was put up in its case up in the closet. But since then I've realized that I actually like using this one better as like my regular sewing machine. So now I have them both just sitting here and I will just use that one just to embroider on and this one will be my sewing machine. And then that is one mat that I'm currently using, a little lamp. Venom Groot and Venom Rocket just sitting there. Um, these are some notebooks 
that I'm going to cover and probably make a traveler's notebook out of. Um, these, there's Daenerys sitting on a throne. John, Girl Deadpool, and then this little dude from, what's it called? Fortnite. Then we have a Pokemon puzzle that me and Jonathan put together. Um, my Cricut Air 2, Cameo 4, and Cameo 3. What else do we have right here? We have this, which this right here used to hold all of my stickers and stuff that I had in stock, but I don't do that right now. This is all of my sequins and other things. This is just a bunch of random stuff. This is the case to my sewing machine. This is my empty thing of ink that I need to ship out. This is for baby toys when baby is in my craft room. This is all slime supplies, sublimation supplies, more slime supplies, more slime supplies, because we make slime a lot. But yeah. Oh, and then my TV. But yeah, anyway, so that was my craft room tour. I have a lot of stuff. I probably could have went more in depth and showed you guys a lot more, but then that would have been like a two hour long video. And I don't think y'all are trying to watch that. And I, I don't know if you guys would like a more in depth tour or like certain sections to see more of what I have with certain things, go ahead and leave a comment down below and um, I will do it. Um, if there's also something that um, you can tell that I do that I craft like crafty stuff that I make um if you guys would like to see a how-to video or a tutorial on any of that go ahead and leave a comment down below as well telling me and I will accommodate what it is that you want um but yeah till then guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're not and you'd like to be go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and follow me and my family along this journey that we call life till next time guys bye